Ever pondered over the secret behind the serene ambiance of some spaces? Could it be the magic of feng shui, the ancient Chinese art of arranging living spaces? Feng shui, an ancient Chinese art, is often veiled in mystery and cultural nuances. It aims to harmonize individuals with their surrounding environment through specific spatial arrangements. Whether you're a seasoned feng shui enthusiast or just curious about its impact, understanding how to identify and correct feng shui issues is crucial for enhancing your living space's positive energy. In this channel, we will explore various feng shui corrections and how to apply them effectively in your home. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel that offers you the chance to learn the ancient wisdom of the East, which can give you new topics and perspectives to discuss with your friends. Today, the spotlight shines on this tranquil art form, revealing its various schools, the controversies surrounding it, and some of the most effective remedies for urban feng shui challenges. Feng shui, which literally means wind and water, is the practice of arranging your living or working spaces to create balance with the natural world. The goal is to harness energy forces and establish harmony between an individual and their environment. Feng Shui, a practice deeply rooted in Chinese tradition, harmonizes individuals with their surrounding environment. This harmony is achieved through strategic placement of objects and careful spatial arrangements. Feng Shui, the ancient Chinese art of placement and spatial arrangement, has intrigued and guided countless individuals and cultures with its wisdom and practices. Among its various branches, Yang House Feng Shui stands out as a particularly intricate and potent form of this discipline. This article delves into the unique aspects, major schools of thought, and the practical applications of Yang House Feng Shui, exploring why it remains relevant and widely debated in today's rapidly changing world. Unlike its counterparts, Yang House Feng Shui places a significant emphasis on the living spaces inhabited by the living. The core philosophical concepts of Yang House Feng Shui are grounded in the traditional Chinese understanding of Qi to describe being energetic and energy and its flow through a space. The importance of direction and layout is also discussed, highlighting how these elements contribute to the effectiveness of practicing Yang House Feng Shui. Yang House Feng Shui is diverse, with several schools of thought that have developed over centuries. This section provides an overview of the most prominent schools including the Form School, which emphasizes the shapes and forms surrounding environments, and the Compass School, which integrates directional elements into Feng Shui analysis. But hold on, did you know that Feng Shui boasts multiple schools of thought, each with its unique practices and interpretations? At its core, Feng Shui revolves around Qi, or energy, which flows through all objects and spaces. Key principles include the five elements, include wood, fire, earth, metal, water, the Bagua map, which assigns areas of your space to different aspects of life, and the concept of yin and yang represents opposite forces that need to be balanced. Common areas of concern in feng shui include the entrance to your home, the arrangement of the kitchen and bathroom, and the placement of furniture. Issues like a direct line from the front to the back door which can cause chi to flow too quickly through a home or a bed aligned with the door known as the coffin position can create negative energy. Central to the practice of Yang House Feng Shui is the Luo Pen, a specialized compass used by practitioners. The adaptation of modern tools and technologies also reflects the evolving nature of Feng Shui practices. Tools like the Luo and Pan Feng Shui Compass and Bagua Map are essential for diagnosing Feng Shui problems. These tools help in understanding how energies are interacting in a space and what adjustments are needed to enhance positive energy. First off, delve into the Form School, originating from Taiwan, which interprets the shapes and forms around us and their impact on our lives. Then the Compass School, a newer offshoot, emphasizes the use of the feng shui compass to determine the energetic quality of spaces. The Flying Star School combines time and space dimensions to forecast the changing fortunes of a property. The Eight Mansion School, meanwhile, analyzes personal compatibility with specific environments. And finally, the Black Hat Sect, a blend of Tibetan Buddhism with feng shui principles, is particularly popular in the West for its simplicity. Despite its widespread popularity, feng shui isn't immune to controversies. A fascinating aspect is the starkly different readings of the same property by different feng shui masters. This inconsistency often triggers heated debates within the community. Picture this, 100 feng shui masters evaluating the same house and coming up with 200 different opinions. Sounds exaggerated? That's the subjective nature of feng shui for you. 
How does the outside environment affect my home's feng shui? Yang House. Feng shui, like any discipline, faces its share of challenges and criticisms. Yang House Feng Shui continues to captivate and challenge enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Its depth, rooted in centuries of Chinese metaphysical thought, offers more than just aesthetic guidelines. It provides a way to harmonize the energy of spaces with the rhythms of nature and human life. As we have explored through various facets of Yang House Feng Shui, its application and significance extend far beyond simple decoration, touching the very essence of living environments. Urban environments present unique challenges for feng shui applications. High-rise buildings, crowded neighborhoods, and modern architecture all disrupt traditional feng shui practices. However, urban feng shui remedies like using bagua mirrors to deflect negative energy, placing plants to soften sharp corners, or rearranging furniture to better direct the flow of energy can effectively counter these disruptions. Yang House Feng Shui focuses on the living spaces of the living emphasizing the arrangement and orientation of spaces to enhance life quality and prosperity. Unlike Yin House Feng Shui, which deals with burial sites, Yang House looks at active, dynamic environments. While Yang House Feng Shui can be applied to any living space, the effectiveness varies depending on the existing environmental and architectural features. Properly applying its principles can benefit both residential and commercial properties, enhancing the flow of energy in various settings. Now consider this. You're dealing with a shachi or attacking energy from the sharp angles of neighboring buildings. A simple solution? Position a potted plant or use a decorative screen to diffuse the negative impact. For those in high rises, aligning your furniture to promote a smooth energy flow can mitigate many of the disruptive energies associated with urban living. The key takeaway from this exploration of feng shui is understanding its foundational principles and adapting them to your specific environment and lifestyle. Whether you follow one school or combine techniques from several, the ultimate goal is harmony and balance. After all, a harmonious home is a happy home. Yang House Feng Shui is a nuanced and profound field of study that goes beyond simple interior decoration to encompass deep metaphysical principles and practical applications. Its ability to adapt to modern challenges while staying rooted in ancient wisdom makes it a uniquely compelling practice relevant to the architectural and design challenges of today. While scientific validations are ongoing, the anecdotal and experiential evidence supporting Feng Shui is substantial particularly in regions where it has been practiced for centuries. As more cross-disciplinary studies emerge, the understanding and acceptance of feng shui within scientific contexts are expected to evolve. This detailed exploration of Yang House feng shui underscores its complexity and utility, revealing why it continues to be a fascinating and widely adopted approach to understanding and manipulating the energy dynamics of spaces. Understanding and implementing Yang House Feng Shui can not only enhance the aesthetic appeal of a space but also contribute significantly to the well-being and productivity of its occupants. As this practice continues to evolve and integrate with contemporary scientific understanding, it remains a vital tool for anyone interested in the art of harmonious living. Guided by the universal laws, we utilize neural AI algorithms to discern the disparities between appearances and reality. We emphasize the unity of knowledge and action, continually learning and improving through practice, tightly integrating ideas from my doctoral studies with current practical applications. Knowledge is not merely power, it is a tool to elevate your value. Our channel has successfully used the hexagrams of the Yi Jing to accurately interpret global political and economic situations. Furthermore, we've utilized artificial intelligence tools like neural networks to provide unique investment strategies, all later validated by objective facts. This channel's predictions of outcomes have been effective thanks to the binary algorithm of yin and yang. We were pioneers in using the Yi Jing for forecasting the future, offering wisdom to navigate life's uncertainties including wealth creation. We emphasize continuous learning and the application of Yi Jing principles to contemporary events and scenarios. In earlier episodes, we have also explained the close connection between the movements of celestial bodies and human socio-economic activities. This is in light of the Gospel of John's assertion that, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
This tenet coincides perfectly with the ancient Eastern wisdom of the Yi Jing, one of the oldest divination texts and a classic of Eastern philosophy. Linking modern geopolitical analysis with specific hexagrams from the Yi Jing requires an interpretation that blends contemporary issues with ancient symbolism and philosophy, where both find a surprisingly similar method of operation. In addition to guiding our investment strategies with wisdom from the Yi Jing, and discovering how the timeless principles of the Yi Jing can inform your financial decisions, we also offer themes for exploring and teaching the spiritual healing aspects of the Yi Jing. This includes dealing with matters in investment finance psychology and applications in harmony with heaven and humanity. The purpose of our channel is to enable you to navigate the investment market, promoting good fortune and avoiding misfortune, accelerating your journey towards financial freedom. Let's strive together for a prosperous life. It's important to remember that knowledge is not just a source of power, it is also a tool for enhancing your value. If you have any topics of interest, please feel free to leave a comment. I would like to express my gratitude for the support of all viewers at the end of this episode. If you found today's video helpful, please remember to like it so you can easily find it again when needed. I would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you.